So today we're going to be making a chocolate smoothie and this is not your ordinary chocolate smoothie. This is a chocolate smoothie that is healthy for you and has a lot of health benefits. So first let's talk about the benefits of this smoothie. This smoothie is made with cacao powder and cacao has a lot of health benefits. And let's go into some of those benefits now. Some of those benefits are that it helps build strong bones, it detoxifies your liver, it balances the brain chemistry, it increases focus, it helps with cardiovascular health, helps with weight loss, reduces PMS symptoms, facilitates anti-aging and rejuvenation. And who doesn't want that, right? So all of my smoothies that I will be creating within the next, I think, couple of months, I'm going to be trying to make smoothies. And I like my smoothies to be done fast and easy. I don't like a lot of different ingredients. I don't like complicated, hard to find items. Once in a blue moon, I will find or make a smoothie that is a little bit more complex or, you know, there's an ingredient in there that's hard to find. But for the most part, they're going to be easy to find you know, three to four different ingredients and let's go. And to top it off, they're gonna taste great and they are, and they're healthy for you. Okay, so now let's get into the, to the ingredients of this chocolate smoothie. So the first ingredient is going to be bananas. Now make sure that the bananas are ripe and you can tell that they're ripe when they have the black little spots on them. That's when you know that the banana is ripe and ready for you to use. Now the bananas that we're going to use, the amount is going to be four bananas for this smoothie. Put the bananas, after you peel them, put them in the blender. Then we're going to use one tablespoon of the cacao powder. Put that in the blender with the bananas. Then we're going to use two cups of water and you can use a little bit more water if you like or less water depending on how thick you want the smoothie to be. Put the water in the blender. And then we're going to use dates. Now dates, if your dates are already kind of squishy, then you can go ahead and just use those dates and put them in the blender. We're going to use three dates. But if your dates are a little more on the dry side, then I would recommend to putting the dates in water, maybe for an hour or two to kind of soften them, which makes them taste a lot sweeter and just taste a whole lot better. But it's up to you, you know, so then just put the dates in the blender and just blend all those ingredients together until you get the consistency, consistency that you want. And that's it. They're ready. Now for this smoothie, once you make this smoothie, you can top it off with whatever toppings you want. As you can see here in the picture, you can make little slices of apples and just top it off with apples. Put slices of bananas, pineapple, coconut little coconut flakes, whatever you want to top it off with. It's your choice. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this chocolate smoothie, which is great for your bones, not to mention a lot of other, has a lot of other health benefits. And I will see you guys on the next video.